If you are not effectively using social media to market your business, you're leaving so much money on the table. Hey y'all, what's up? And welcome back to my channel where we talk about entrepreneurship, content creation, and social media marketing. If you haven't joined the community yet, be sure you do so because you will always have a seat at this table, okay? So join the community down below by hitting the subscribe button so you can stay connected with us, all right? So y'all, today we're talking about how to successfully market your business using social media. We're giving you some tips and some tricks and some things that can change your life and your business. So stay tuned to the end because I got all the tips, all right? You're gonna need to hear all of them, all right? So be sure to stay to the end, all right? So let's just go ahead and hop on in. So the first one is, in order to successfully market your business on social media in 2021, you need to identify who your target audience is. I see too many people out here like, oh, I'm just gonna put out content, I'm just gonna do it, do, do, do. No, sis, like who are you talking to? Like how do you, how do you effectively talk to somebody? You don't even know who they are. You don't know what they struggle with. You don't know how you can help them. You like, you may know that, but you don't know how to identify who that person is. You have to know that person backwards and forward. That way you can serve that person, okay? So identify who your target person is, all right? What keeps them up at night? What pain points do they struggle with? What um, insecurities do they deal with? What, um, what limiting beliefs do they deal with? And let me be very clear, you guys, as you start knowing this, of course, be sure you're operating integrity and you're not like fear-based, like you deal with this and I'm going to help you fix it. It's like, you know, like type of thing. It's like, no, let me walk you through. I see you're struggling with this limiting belief that, you know, you're not enough. Let me walk you through that. You know what I mean? Let me, let me walk with you through that instead of like, you know, type of fear-based like mindset. So Let's just, from this point forward, we solemnly swear to use these tactics for the greater good, okay? And in integrity, all right? I know I probably don't have to say that, but I just wanna be sure I do because once you have these tips, you're gonna be able to like literally transform your business, seriously. And of course, the people that you get to serve within it. So you have to do that, of course, with an integrity. So actually within my YouTube Pro program, I teach my clients, I walk my clients through how to identify their target person and get super detailed on who they are and how they can serve them. So if you're interested, come join the waitlist for YouTube Pro. I'll put the link on the screen as well as in the description box down below for you. Number two is now that you know who they are, what they do, what they like to do, where they hang out, all that stuff, you need to go where they hang out, all right? You need to go there. That doesn't mean you have to go to like, their favorite bar, but I'm talking about like where they hang out at online. So are they mostly on Facebook? Are they mostly on YouTube? Are they mostly on Instagram? Are they on three different platforms? And then list which ones they're probably on the most. Not probably, but get real data to show you, okay, where are my people at and how can I go in there? An example of this too is Facebook groups, okay? So I know my people are hanging out in a certain Facebook group. I'm gonna go join that Facebook group and make different connections, okay? So that's another thing is just identify where your people hang out at online and go, all right? Go do it. Make genuine connections, not just like, oh, what can you do for me type of connections, but genuine real connections to say how can I help you how can I help serve you you know so yeah so number three is y'all it's called social media for a reason it's now time that you know who your target person is you know where they hang out now it's your job to actually engage with them like I said before you're going to go into comments you're going to go into dms you're just gonna make internet friends you guys you know how many internet and business besties I now have because I've just reached out because I've used social media to be social like seriously if you want to know somebody like reach out to them, say hello. And if they don't respond the first time, that's okay. Do it again. You know, now don't do it. Like I'm gonna let y'all know. Here, here's a tip. Okay. Whenever you slide in my DMS, all right. If you just say, Hey, there is a very likely chance I will not respond because I need you to like, so whenever you are engaging with somebody say, Hey, my name is so-and-so. I just wanted to connect with you. Make it as, as quick as possible for them to digest any information. That's content. That's DMS. That's comments, whatever that is just tip for you on the DM side of things. Things, okay. Um, but then also in terms of comments, like go and comment on their post, go, um, support like their work that they're, the content that they're putting out on their social media platforms. For example, on Instagram, if I connect with somebody, I will go in there, like on their Instagram feed and I will start like doing like the clappy emoji on their post. I will comment if the post helped, if it was good, things like that to show that you really, really do care and support them, um, and what they do as well. So start just engaging with them. Don't be spammy. Oh, come follow me. Oh, nobody's going to do that. Nobody wants to do that. 
If y'all slide in my DMs telling me, like, the first message isn't even like a hi, say, hey, Andrea, I do this, and blah, blah, and there's this, and blah, 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 and this is what you can do, and then you buy this, and then I can guarantee you followers. I'm like, I don't care. I'm blocking you. <laughs> so be like, y'all, remember people. You would not walk up to somebody. I hope you wouldn't. You wouldn't walk up to somebody in the mall and just start word vomiting on them. You would get to know them first before you try to help and serve them. Same thing within the DMs, same thing within comments, same things within social media, okay? So I know that one was hefty and we break this stuff down way more in detail within my Facebook group. So if you're interested, I'll put the link on the screen for you down below as well as in the description box uh, for you as well. So come join my Facebook group if you are an entrepreneur or a small business owner looking to use the power of YouTube, okay? YouTube for your business. If you wanna get consistent clients, you're sick of that like client chase, you're sick of like, like where the heck are my people at? How do I even say a business? If you're sick of wondering that, then come join us in my Facebook group as well. We have a lot of fun. Number four is you're going to make content, okay? That will help them that will serve them, that will talk to their pain points that they're actually experiencing and how you can help fix them as well as provide value, okay? So how can you help your person? If you lead with that within your business, then you won't be surprised when you have a successful business. Your business is not created for you. My business is not created for me. My business is created for you guys, for entrepreneurs and small business owners who are looking to, like they're sick of this rat race in terms of getting clients. So it's like, and they want to expand the reach. They want to be on a global stage. That's what I do within my business. And that's who I help. You see what I'm saying? So my business is not for me. I already know how to do all that stuff, right? Like my business is now to come Come alongside you and help you do the same so that's the same for your business as well so if you focus and lead with serving if you lead with serving and providing value it'll it'll be great okay another thing is talk to their like talk talk them through and help them get through limiting beliefs we've done this a lot on my channel like money mindset we've done this with um imposter syndrome and feeling like you have to be this like gorgeous like model girl or whatever to be on camera for youtube and we've talked this through and we'll talk about it till just just till the cows come home or whatever that phrase is because it's so important to to just help your people through the stuff that they're going with in real life okay that's going to help them open up and feel more comfortable whenever you do have something to offer them so that's a big thing that i want to say is to speak to their pain points um help them through limiting beliefs uh, speak, give them value. What give them, give them some like hot tips, give them things that can help them right now. Um, they should leave every piece of content from you feeling either inspired, empowered, informed, knowing like some action steps they can do within their business um, and within their life as well, whatever it is that you do. Number five. So number five is you're going to actually push your content out there and repurpose your content. Okay. It's very important. So many people are like, Andrea, my channel's not growing. And I'm like, have you promoted your, your videos? Have you? I'm just kidding. I don't say it like that. But seriously, like a lot of people just put out videos and just expect them to just literally just trickle through and, you know, do its thing. I've put it out. Let, let the world carry it. Whatever. You need to promote your videos. Okay. You need to promote your videos. YouTube does a phenomenal job if you optimize it and, and get that SEO and optimization power on tight, which is something I always teach my clients how to do. But you need to promote your videos. Talk about it on Instagram. Talk about it on Facebook, on every other platform, okay? Talk about it in every different aspect. And I'm specifically talking about if you're making YouTube videos or other content. Either, even Instagram posts can be posted on your YouTube channel wall, can be repurposed into an email, can be repurposed into a blog post. And you can make this whole ecosystem of your content where you are surrounding your, your, your prospects with content so that you stay top of mind and that you continue to, to serve them and give value to them so that when they do have a need, you're the first person that comes up, right? So that's the whole point. So be sure you are repurposing your content that you're putting all the effort in to put out, repurpose that stuff, all right? Repurpose it. Number six is to pitch within your content. Don't be afraid of selling, okay? Because really, you selling is actually you just serving somebody. If I had something that could help you and change your life, it would actually be selfish of me to keep that to myself, right? Like for real, like if you were desperately in need of something and I was like, nah, I got something that can help you, but I'm afraid of rejection, so I ain't gonna give it to you. I ain't gonna go offer it to you. That's like messed up, right? So if you have something, which you do within your products and your services, you have something that can give great 
value, then you need to be sure you are pitching within your content. I have a whole system and a, a whole thing with this where I do this within sales psychology. Okay. So the, and I, I teach this with my YouTube pro program. So again, the wait list is open in the description box, but you want to be sure that you are pitching and showing like what you have to offer. Don't be afraid of selling. Okay. If you flip your mindset and say, this is just me serving someone. And if they say no, welcome to business. That's okay. Like that's fine. So don't be afraid of that if that's something that you're, you're nervous about. So yeah, don't be afraid to pitch. Don't be afraid to offer. And yeah, so if you want to know the detailed version of all these tips, we go again, way more deeper, even deeper than the Facebook group. Um, we go way deeper in my YouTube pro program. It is down below in the description box. So if you guys are interested, come and apply. Um, the wait list is open currently, but depending on when you see this video, it may be open it may be closed whatever, come check the link down below. It will be the same link for you. So my question for you is why do you think social media is so effective? Like let's have a healthy debate down below in the comment section. Why do you think social media is so effective to grow people's businesses? Why do you think these online entrepreneurs are thriving and stuff like that? What do you think their secret like tips and stuff are outside of what I've just given you guys comment down below in the comment section as well as what was your biggest takeaway? What was your biggest like, Ooh, aha moment? Um, or anything that was like, yes, I got it. This is going to help anything like that. Comment that down below in the description or in the description box, in the comment section so we can have a nice dialogue in there. All right. So anyway, you guys, I love you as always. If you have any questions, comments, life problems, life concerns, anything comment down them comment them down below in the comment section and we'll talk soon all right bye y'all all night all night all night long oh. hey y'all what's up welcome back to my channel if you guys are not okay no oh. so my question for you so